Hello, sports fans, sports betters, and YouTube Nation. John here with Rigget Picks. Um, coming at you Wednesday, middle of the week, April 14th, 2021. Got a free play for you coming up in the NHL. Um, my free play yesterday was the Rangers <clears throat> Devils over. Um, Rangers ended up winning that game 3 to nothing. Um, great goaltending by Shesterkin um, for the shutout. And uh, Blackwood, he held up his end of the bargain. He only allowed three goals. And it was a low-scoring game. Um, unusual. Uh, just the uh, second time in the last ten games, it's been it, it's hit the under. So sometimes the uh, the uh, the uh, numbers and trends just don't point in the right direction. And that's what happened. Um, over on the premium card side of things, um, I got a little beat up. Um, Major League Baseball. Um, John Means .77 ERA lost to the Mariners and Justice Sheffield, who had a 7.20 ERA. Um, Means uh, the Mariners had a 143 batting average against lefties coming into the game. It means just going to get the job done for us. Uh, point and simple. They gave up three runs early, and um, that was all the Mariners would need. Ended up winning the game 4-3 to three in, in, in extras, but I had him first five. And then I had Blake Snell rolled with my boy. Um, sorry, I'm done with him. After what I seen yesterday, how he's acting, how he portrayed himself. I mean, that was a terrible outing. You don't smile after a terrible outing. You don't smile. You don't act jittery. You don't act like you're on something. I, terrible. It was a terrible performance. And it was just like, whatever. Just whatever. Shrugged it off. I mean, I guess to a sense you got to shrug it off. But, you know, you're, you're with a team that could actually go out and win the World Series like you could last year. Pitch like that, Blake Snow. Not the guy that we seen yesterday. I don't know what was going on there. No idea, but um, heavily disappointed in that, and in, in the Padres. Um, disappointed in the Padres' offense. <clears throat> also, um, you know, is what it is. Um, got my butt handed to me. And then the Angels, they had the bases loaded in the bottom of the, uh, or top of the ninth inning, and just uh, had Trout and Pujols. Couldn't get the job done. So, you know, they, they, they had the guys, the right guys at the right spot. They just didn't get it done against Holland. Um, ended up dropping that one. Um, go over to hockey. I had Washington Capitals on the three-way. They took care of business, won six to one. And then I had the Phoenix Suns, um, had them on the money line, and they also got the job done. Um, so all was not lost. But um, I'm just disappointed in in some of the pitching performances yesterday from some veteran, better pitchers. So moving on, sticking in the NHL. I'm sorry if I sound frustrated. It was just a it was a frustrating day overall. It's just one of those days, you know, you can wake up in your tail and you do something, and then you're just like. This whole day is just going to crash on me. Um, pretty much did. So, you wake up, you dust yourself off, you get right back at it. I'll be here. I will tell you about my failures. I will tell you about my successes. And we will move on to the next day. Every time. So, Wednesday, April 14th, going over to hockey. Winnipeg Jets, Ottawa Senators. <clears throat> Senators just got done beating the Jets. Last three times these guys have played head-to-head. -head. The Senators have won two. The Jets have only won one. Um, Winnipeg needs this game. If they want to stay in contention and be one of the top teams in that North Division, they need to beat the Ottawa Senators. They need to win this game. Um, you got Lauren Brossat in goal for um, the Jets. He's already been confirmed. Um, you know, they're giving Hellbook the, 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 the day off. I think they're playing tomorrow. Um, but Brossat, and I probably said that name wrong, but uh, Laurent Brossat, Brossoy. Is uh, five three and one on the or five and three on the season with one shutout. He's got two point six three goals against the average and a ninety one point four save percentage. He's one of the better backup goalies in hockey. Um, Ottawa has confirmed Matt Murray in net. They picked Matt Murray up from Pittsburgh. Um, probably had a lot of hope for this this guy. Uh, twenty six years old. He's seven and twelve on the season with three point eight four goals against the average and an eighty eight save percentage. Um, he's coming off of an injury. He has not. Um, been in net since March 10th so while he's well rested I am not sure that that is going to be what he needs against the Jets the Jets are going to come out knowing he has not been in net and maybe a little rusty and I expect a full-out attack of the Jets offense in the first period in this game um, I like the over in the first period between these two um, Winnipeg averages 29 shots a game they, they normally play not really up tempo, but um, you know, technical hockey. They, they they take their chances when they can. But I think with Murray not being in net for so long, 
that they're going to seek an opportunity and, and go after it and, and try to lock this game up as early as they can, so to speak. Um, Ottawa averages 31 shots on offense per game, and they also want to come out and attack Brassois early, um, or Brassois. Maybe the T is silent. It probably is being French. But with all that being said, I'm going to roll with the Jets on the three-way. I think they're going to come out. I think they're going to attack Murray, and they're going to seek an opportunity. He's going to be rusty. Maybe he gets his legs back, you know, in game action. You can practice all you want. I've been there. You can practice, 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 practice. But when you get to a game, it's a totally different speed, and it's totally different intent from the other players. So we're going Jets, Winnipeg Jets on the three-way. Right now it's sitting at minus 120. I'm going to put 120 on it to win 100. And uh, that's what we're going to roll with. So if you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, turn notifications on. Give me a big old thumbs up. If you um, enjoy True Free Daily Sports Bank Advice each and every single day, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Drop a comment in the comment section if you uh, you know have questions about other games or just want to chat sports. You know, I love, talk I love interacting with you guys in the comment section. With all that being said, thank you very much for watching this video. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.